All right, let's check it out. Let's do it. it looks like the lamp's already on. So this is a lamp indicator. Of course, the lamp is not glowing because we removed it. So now I'm going to leave it in the on position and let's see what happens. Wow. So you can see the turret is turning. That must be left, right, or depending on how you mount it. This is up, and you'll see the lamp holder assembly just rotates up. So let's see how far it goes. Yeah, that's pretty good. All the way down. That looks like a good range of motion. I think it'll work great in the application. So the next step is to disconnect and we will connect up to the relay board. If you remember, we're using an eight module relay board connected to our Arduino to operate five relays, five relays just like this. So it should be a straight one-to-one -one replacement. So plan on powering the 120 volt, 100 watt halogen bulb with one of these relays. The ratings on these relays will support the current and the voltage for AC. So these are good for AC and DC. So we have our meter connected up. I hope you can see the disconnect button reposition of the edge here. So let's identify yellow. So I will probe yellow. Oops. Where did I go? What did I do? Oh, power it on. Where is yellow? Ah, yellow is turret, turret counterclockwise. Okay, make a note of that. You saw it jump to 12 volts, so that tells me we're powering the motor directly from the relay in there. Applying 12 volts. Let's guess it's blue. And it is. So let's try up. I'm going to guess up is gray. Wow, good guess. So that leaves down green. Great. So the question now is when this is being wired in the home, we will mount this on the eave of the corner of the house. This will be routed down through the wall. And then I would still want to retain these connectors uh, just to be able to disconnect it. If we're going to use this wire for the log the ground of the motors, but it's also used as the ground for the lamp, we have we don't have a wire for the 120 volts. So I think what I'm going to do is eliminate this wire and have a 120 volt cable for the lamp totally separate from this. We will not be combining 120 volts AC and DC in the same outer shielding. I think that's the easiest to thing to do. It turns out my assumptions are wrong. The two motors in the searchlight that control the position of the lamp carriage and the turret are controlled by reversing the polarity. In this diagram, I try to illustrate what I'm talking about. So positive on this lead and negative on this lead rotates the motor in a certain direction let's say clockwise. When you reverse the polarity and put negative on this lead and positive on this lead, it's the opposite direction. So my assumptions about how to control the motor by providing 12 volts on each of these four leads with the other side grounded is completely wrong. So I need to go back and revisit the design, possibly change the firmware, 
I will probably have to utilize the additional relays. So this means we're going to have an episode four before I can show you the connections and the actual searchlight operating from a remote control.